I'm demonstrating bamboo on rice paper, single shoe in rice paper. A wolf brush uh, is made of animal hair wolf, which means <clears throat> that when you put water on it, it's much like putting a dog into a bath. You think his hair is wet because it's, it's dripping, but naturally it isn't wet. So um, if you're having trouble at the beginning when you're painting, it could be that you don't really have your brush wet. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to load your brush is have this sort of oval like movement and then test it. It should be light to dark. Okay, now I'm going to add the indigo. This was Windsor Yellow, this is Holbein Indigo, and I'm going to pull this indigo into the Windsor Yellow. And I'm going to brush lighter to dark. <clears throat> okay. Most Chinese painting, you don't have to reload your brush with every stroke, but with a bamboo stock you do. Um, that is to say, you can get a, a lighter bamboo stock, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but really what you're wanting is the control. So. Okay. Start from the bottom. Go up on the tip. Lay it down, go up on the tip, come back, lay it down. Okay, <clears throat> here's a case where this is wider than this. And of course it would get smaller if anything, probably it would stay about the same, but <clears throat> you don't want it to get wider. So this is one of the few times when you get to fudge a little bit. I didn't actually add any more paint to my brush and it's a little bit dry. I'm going to rotate it and that will help. Just keeping in mind it's round. And even though there may not be too much paint on one side, you may have more on the other. is make a branch and you might notice how this is puddling. Just take some off from the edge of your palette or um, any edge that you have that you can drop paint into. Just add a little more to the tip there. <clears throat> okay, now start from the edge of your bamboo. What you want to do first actually, I'm, I'm just putting these little nodules in, but really what you want to do first is this. Pivot on your elbow. When you feel you have control of that, press lift, come back. Press lift, come back, press. Press lift, come back. If this is getting too wet, <clears throat> instead of thinking of actually pressing, just think of pausing for a sec. It's raining in Atlanta today, so. <clears throat> that means is that the water already is a little bit moist, or the paper is already a little bit moist. Okay, the next step then is to go left uh, with your branches, and these are a little more difficult to do. I had a, a real hard time with it when I started. So what I suggest is if you are having a hard time also, turn your paper over really and just trace. Well, I'm going right beside it, but trace over the actual line. You don't need to be... And I'm indicating that you start this with joints, but you really don't. You start again by just getting the arc in here. Once you get your arc going nicely, then see how you can do with the nodules. Or with the joints. Okay. Next step. Now my brush is fairly dry at this point. I want it to be pretty dry, so I'm just going to let it be. Uh, if you need to reload it because of water or whatever, just go ahead and reload it. But you should have a little bit of yellow actually in your brush, not just indigo. Okay, I'm going to start from my right, press, and mine might be a little dry too. When it starts dropping like that, <coughs> it means it's too dry. Sometimes you can uh, do a few brush strokes allowing the water to come down and it's okay. Sometimes not. 
so it looks like I need to reload. But keeping in mind that I don't want this brush to be very wet. I just want it to have color. So what I'm going to do now, actually, is take some of the water off and test it. See if I can actually, I hate to say pencil, but the idea is that you have real control. Okay, it's still a little wet. You can do this. It could have a um, varying results, but you can do that too. Press, or sorry, point, press, and just go around like that. Okay, <clears throat> I see an error that I've made here. This should be the longest because it's a complete joint. This is a partial joint, and this is a partial, or a partial section. So let's just go up here and just for the sake of understanding. That would have been maybe another break in the bamboo. Okay, now I want, I want to show you how to do a leaf. I like to think of a crane going into the water, basically, are you breaking the water? So you're going down, down, press, and lift. So you're always either going down or going up. You're never just staying at the same level. If you breathe, notice how this is happening. This is from the brush actually getting a little bit dry. But if I go slow, I want the water to continue to come down. I think I can get this leaf. Right, I'm going to try one more. Be very, very 